This carrot cake is wonderful. This has become my favorite tea shop, mainly because you can actually sit in the shade. Oh, hope these two will last me till three o'clock check-in. I hope check-in isn't like yesterday. That'd be horrible. <sighs> Definitely won't last me till three o'clock. It's 2 p.m. I'm gonna just show up at the MGM, hopefully, uh, hopefully, I'll get a room. So the place I'm about to stay at is the uh, MGM Skyloft. So if you search the suites around Vegas, you see that the Sky Suite at the Aria, which is right there, is probably the most popular suite. And the Skyloft is right up there as well. And the reviews for it are just outstanding. So we're gonna go try that out today. The cheapest suite at the Aria, I think it was around 550. The cheapest one in MGM, I think is around 800. But because I did upgrade yesterday, so the total amount is still gonna be around about 900 or so for tonight. And on weekends, obviously, it just skyrockets. And just like the Sky Suites, the Sky Loft also sends a limo out to get you from the airport, which I really wish I could have experienced. And I could also show you guys what that's like. But again, I am driving my trusty Sky and Cover Steed, my Ford Fusion, <laughs> into this hotel. And there is a private, I think it's a private valet entrance. So if you're going to the Sky Suites and uh, and you show up at the valet, you're supposed to go to the far right where taxis and limos are, right here. So this is the typical valet, which is a lot of people for a Tuesday. This is the entrance you're supposed to go to for the Sky Suite. I'm Check checking into the Sky Loft. Checking in, all right. Yeah. Uh, just straight ahead, and what's the last name for me? Chen. Chen, do you need any help with any luggage? I don't chance? think so, I'm good. Right, Thank perfect. you, sir. I'll meet you right up here. On. Thank you. See, this is the car that came in in front of me. A Cadillac limo. That's why I <laughs> What is a Fusion doing driving up here? Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What's your name? Uh, Renyo. Like Renyo, nice uh, to meet you. Thank you so much. So that's orange cantaloupe and vanilla right there. Orange cantaloupe and vanilla. Yes, perfect. You guys are <laughs> you guys just cramming everything in there. Uh, would you like to do a quick tour of the lot? Sure. All right, perfect. All right, so right over here, so since we have our mini bar, uh, I just want to let you know we have Fiji Waters, Coke products. Uh -huh. This is our menu pricing right here, too. Okay. Say, for example, you like something else, but it's not here, just let us Whoa, your sodas are only $5? Yes. <laughs> and Fiji Waters only $5? Yeah. No way! Do you know why I'm surprised? You came from Vidara? I came from Aria. $10. $10. No, no, $15. No. 20 25 for a bigger bottle of Fiji. Also, right here is an espresso machine. If you'd like to use this, sir, all you have to do is just place a pod uh -huh. in here. Yeah. So, like the size of the cup that you'd like. And then How do I make tea? See, you can do that too. So, this is actually water. Okay, yes. cool. So, you just place a cup right underneath. And then those are the tea bags right uh -huh. there for you as well, okay? All right, so just press the water and then the hot water. Wonderful. Right thank you, thank you. Uh, we also offer room service 24 hours, mm -hmm. of course, if you're interested into that. Uh, most of our restaurants downstairs, you can even order from us and then we'll serve it here for you. Wow. Unit right wait, wait, hang on. One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven? Pillows, right? Seven? Oh, this is eight pillows. Yes. What is the difference in pillows? Like, so um, we have like from uh, the 
course hypoallergenic to all the way to like hydro water pillow. And so I can just water. Oh, you got water pillow? Yes. What's a water pillow? Is it actually like a water bed, yes. but a pillow? Yes. Yes. No <laughs> way. Whoa. Okay. There's a screen in my room. Hey, That's hey, great. Hey. So right here will be a heated towel rack. Just be careful of this because it gets really hot. Oh, okay. nice. Beautiful. Uh, but the best part in your um, bedroom, honestly, probably is the actual bathroom. Cool. I heard uh, there's some place um, Skyloft people go to just chill out, like some is it a garden place or something? Oh, you're probably talking about Mansion. So Mansion is very exclusive for Mansion guests and Skylop guests. Uh, it is more of like a dining area. Oh, it's, it's, it's a restaurant. It's a restaurant. Oh, okay. Place. I thought it was just like some tea yeah. parlor. So it's a, it's a dining area. They have, um, they have like dim sum in there. So a lot of times like we have guests go there for breakfast. It's uh -huh. a really good spot. It's there. really good? Yeah, it's, um, it's more of like a atrium. Uh -huh. like a nice patio area. They only have like about five tables by the oh. area. Is it always very full? Limited. Not always, especially on the weekdays. Like right yeah. now, it should be okay. So that would be one of the perks, right? Yes, yes. Yes? Yes, it's very exclusive. So I would love to go check it out. Go check it out. How, yeah. How about, what time did you want to go? Like four o'clock? Four o'clock. <laughs> have that schedule. That'd you. be great. And then uh, Be uh, Butler will meet you that, uh, over here. And yeah. And ask for you. Oh really? This place so far is amazing. I did extensive research before I came here, so I kind of know what is available. First of all, let's just compare this to the Skyloft, to the Sky Suites we were just at. The view, although beautiful, this is no Sky Suite view. You get a nice view of the, the pool, but the pool obviously is, is not going to be as beautiful as Sky Suites. I mean, that was the best view I've ever seen in my life. This is the Skyloft, and it's a massive living room, and it's just two floors of space. You can have a dinner party for six here in this welcome juice. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is good. I'm still can't get over the prices. You know, like a Fiji water for $5. If you try to buy this on the strip anywhere, it's about $5. So the beverage and snacks inside the suite is the prices are not outrageous. Technology wise, it's definitely dated. Super old TV. And it's not that big either. Um, I like this area where you're kind of just chilling and get some work done. TV in the bedroom, bed looks beautiful. I am gonna try to order, I've never ordered pillows before in my life. That's gonna be pretty interesting. This, I read great things about this. So you can do these, all these crazy, awesome packages and they'll fill your tub before you get back. So I'm gonna have a romantic soak session for two, for one. Basically you can turn this whole thing into a giant steam room. Look at this. Biggest shower I've ever seen in my life. And wow. Whoa, so there's two, two showers there. And then there's like 30 handles. I don't even know what. One, so I see shower heads here too. One, two, three, four, five, six shower heads. Let's talk about service. Vegas service in general is pretty darn good, but I think you can see the biggest difference between Sky Suites and Sky Loft even though they're both MGM properties. Sky Suites, I went in and of course, had to wait till about 6 p.m. to get checked in. I mean, they were nice and cordial, but it was just basically a normal procedure. You check in, you get your keys, you go out by yourself. This was crazy. So basically the valet called someone and they met me in the lounge as soon as I got into the lounge and they walked me all the way to registration. They showed me up the stairs to a second registration, I guess. And then the butler was here waiting and it's a 24 hour butler service, 24 hour concierge service. So that was definitely not something offered over at the Sky Suites. And also just, you feel so welcome here, right? Like you just feel so, like everyone knows your name. Everyone's just so nice. I can say pretty confidently and it's not cheap. Either place is not cheap. You're gonna spend the money. Already, this place is head and shoulders way better than Sky Suites. Unless you're just in it for the view. It's all you really care about, then go to the Sky Suites because you're really not getting too great of a, I mean, you're getting a beautiful view, but not to the extent of that. But if you wanna just enjoy your suite and feel more welcome and just have a better overall experience, although I haven't even tried the food yet, I'm thinking this place wins. That's beautiful. So this is all where all the villas are. Wow. If I become more successful, I'll stay here next time. <laughs> like, this is crazy. I'll definitely see you. I'll come visit you. Yeah, man. This is crazy. Wow. What a great view. Okay, so it's called the Diao Yu Tai at the mansion. Wow. That's great. Thank you so much. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you. I want to apologize for the audio. My absent-mindedness strikes again. I'm down to 
flashing bars here on the on the mic pack so again this is the mansion I didn't, I didn't know about this so this is like probably i'm thinking the most expensive suites you can get inside the mgm there's two menus um this one is all asian dishes and there is one that has well non-asian dishes so this is the asian menu with dim sum and appetizers looks like more of a cantonese slash citron menu the other menu you got your typical stuff the caviar and, and french onion soup and scallops and whole steak whole dried abalone braised whoa i just found the most expensive dish on the menu braised whole dried abalone 450 dollars that's about half the cost of my sweet for a night. Braised fish maw for $180. If you never had fish maw before, fish maw is fantastic. You can also get it at a Cantonese restaurant for about 20 bucks. Ham fried Kobe steak, 220. Wow. I mean, that actually should be worth it. Kobe is really expensive. Bird's nest soup and whole coconut for 180. Bird's nest, if you don't know, is actually bird saliva. I never actually ate that before, so. And it's more, I think, for nutritional values than anything else. She looks great. I asked one of the Asian waiters <laughs> which one on the Asian menu is good. So he recommended this thing called Spicy on Spicy. Go ahead and get that. I heard the Dover Sole is fantastic. That sounds good as well. So I just looked up how much it costs to stay at the mansion. So apparently prices start at around $5,000 per night and up to $25,000 per night. I mean, it looks pretty darn exclusive. Soup is served, just pure broth. So apparently this is some kind of meat and, and pear soup. It's a pai tongue, a pork rib soup. Recognize that right away. Mm. Yeah, you can taste the essence of a pear, but otherwise it's just really light, nice rib soup. This stuff is actually really healthy for you. Usually this thing is prepared with, of course, pork ribs and bones and a lot of Chinese medicinal herbs. I'm still thinking about this, like, if I spent $25,000 a night and I couldn't check until 6 p.m. like yesterday, wasting three hours, that's about $3,000 I'm losing. Wanna know why Asians are good at math? But things like this. See if something is quad alive or worth it or not. Okay, another testament to the service here is crazy. I, I was out of batteries. They brought me new batteries. So prepare for <sighs> better audio. We're back. I'm doing a Eastern dish in a Western dish. This dish here, the scallops over lobster risotto. I mean, this looks so good. Look how tender the scallops are. You can see bits of lobster here. Mm. This is so good. This thing is perfect. First of all, risotto cooked perfectly. Rice texture is amazing. Mm. Little bits of lobster brings a tiny bit of sweetness and brininess. I did not know scallops could melt in your mouth, but that just did. Wow. Some of the most tender scallops I ever put in my mouth. That is so good. And this is the spicy on spicy. It kind of looks like a, like a compound dish. Little bits of chilies, tofu. I wonder what the meat is. I think it might be pork. The rice will take just a few more minutes. No worries. Those are so good. That is, come here and get that. Wow, <laughs> my mouth is on fire. This is not for those who can't handle their spice. And I mean, you gotta be able to handle your spice. The meat, I'm pretty sure it's cha siu. The texture is so nice with the tofu and the crunch from the peppers. It's just so much umami. And the flavor and the heat just lingers on your tongue. This is not like anything I've had before. It's just so uniquely delicious. This actually would be really good with some rice. Luckily I got some and it's arriving right now. Well, that was quick. All right. Wow. Scallop fried rice. Thank you. Thank you. And we got the scallop fried rice. If you got a special occasion coming up, you're coming to Vegas, you want to splurge on a nice sweet, I would highly recommend getting a Skyloft and coming here and eating this. Get the spicy on spicy. And if they have the scallops, get the scallops. I can't believe how good everything is. And this combination of flavors, it's just so incredibly complimentary. First of all, the rice, just by looking at it, it looks kind of plain, like it doesn't maybe have that much flavor in here. This is why you should never judge a book by its cover. On the outside, I think these are the scallops right here. 
and they managed to do something with it. I think they fried it. There's so much flavor in the scallops, and somehow that great briny seafood flavor just penetrated the entire bowl of rice. And again, it doesn't look like it could be that tasty. It's got egg whites in here. I mean, where's the yolk? But wow, you're gonna feel that on every single taste bud in your mouth. This is one of the best fried rice I've ever had. If I give this a rating, this is like a maybe nine, nine and a half out of 10 on the fried rice scale. And I've had a lot of fried rice in my life. Put some of this stuff onto the fried rice. And I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop the chilies in because I enjoy eating chilies. This thing tastes just like spending a lot of money on a sweet in Vegas. It hurts, but it feels oh so good. With the spicy on spicy, it's like something so incredibly mild and gentle and subtle with just an uppercut of flavor. I'm always really skeptical of like a fancy Chinese food and I don't eat it very often. I don't think I've been to like a fancy Chinese place. I mean, I think the last fancy Chinese place I've been to was, you know, Mott 32 on the strip. And that's because Jesse really wanted to go. But this restaurant just tastes like everything that's good in this world. I found out some more information about this mansion place. So there's obviously Italian influence in here and an Asian influence in here as well. Apparently there's a museum here where they have actual Tang Dynasty sculptures, like from the Tang Dynasty here. There's Picasso's, there's Matisse. It says this museum inside this hotel is better than the Guggenheim Museum in Las Vegas. And it's considered one of the most expensive hotels in the world. Anyway, definitely for a real special, special, special 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 occasion okay i asked and uh you're not allowed to actually see the museum unless you're staying at the mansion that'd be really cool i love ton dynasty um period stuff so would have been really great to see Whoa. i mean this is so lovely <laughs> really didn't have to go to all that trouble for me i just wanted a bath look at this <sighs> what What? Rose petals leads to the bed. Let's see. Oh, no, here. Whoa, I swear I didn't ask for champagne. I wanted some tea. They, they, it was gonna be, it was supposed to be tea. This is way too romantic. What? Chocolate covered strawberries and bath salt. Okay, first of all, that is so incredibly awesome. And the staff here definitely went above and beyond. And I just wanna say, uh, I wanted a bath with rose petals in it. And they have a snack set with tea and cookies. That's what I want. So I thought, what I thought what I was gonna walk into was just, you know, just this part, just the bath and some rose petals and some tea and cookies right here. And I could just, you know, take a bath. I don't, I'm not usually a bath guy, but since it's something they offer, I wanted to try it out. And it's an infinity bathtub, which is like super cool. But this is so nice. I feel just a bit wasted on me because I'm just, it's just myself here. But this is so beautiful. So if you have a special occasion, you're trying to romance your, your partner or something, this is so awesome. All right, my bath's getting cold. I gotta, I gotta jump in there. So this is the infinity tub. It's like an infinity pool, but it's a bathtub. There's a button, let's see what this does. Whoa! Oh, there's some bath salt. Let's uh, give me some flavor. I don't know what bath salt's supposed to do. I never used bath salt ever in my life. It's supposed to make me taste better, I guess. There's another button here. Let's see what this does. Whoa! Lights. This feels so foreign. I literally haven't taken a bath. I mean, I shower, I'm not dirty, but. I don't take baths. Well, this is probably what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. See you later. All right, let's, let me just get some stuff from the uh, in-room dining. What make a surface? Do you need any suggestions? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. Well, well, how hungry were we? Were we looking more of an entree or just like a snack? Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. Uh, our our um, our most popular steak would be the prime New York strip. It's 12 ounces. Uh huh. Um, and we also very popular are our. Um, Pasta? Is the Wild King Sam, is that a pasta? Oh no, that, that's, that's just the entree for salmon. Also okay. very popular as well, sir. Is it? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm sorry, was your preference in temperature for your salmon, sir? Uh, no, whatever is best. And uh, also, I'll take uh, some uh, Wagyu sliders. Sliders as well? Yeah. Wonderful, and your salmon does pair best with either the citrus confit or the uh, Lobster butter, would you like any of those? Yeah, citrus confit would be great. And for your sliders, was there a preference in temperature for your sliders? Medium, well done? Medium, please. Well, medium, did mm -hmm. you want? Would you like some cheese on that, sir? Sure. Would cheddar be okay? Yep. 
That's fine. For anything beverage or dessert wise with your meal? Uh, can we get a, a carrot cake? Carrot cake, absolutely. And a pot of jasmine pearl green tea. Uh, would you like any uh, honey or lemon along with your tea? No, just, just the tea is fine. Was there anything else that made That's it, thank you. So spent a lot of time in the tub, got super hungry. So got some dinner, and the way that dining works in the Skyloft is that you can actually order from any restaurant in the casino and they'll actually bring it up to you. So that is by itself amazing. So their in-room food menu is 24 hours, but you can order from, I think, any restaurant in this hotel. I mean, this pretty much feels like they brought a restaurant into my room. What do we have? Ooh, asparagus and mashed potatoes. This is just the most incredible in-room dining experience. These are the Wagyu sliders. Okay, some cheese and some greens on top. Oh, these are so good. Super juicy little sliders. Dip it into this mayonnaise sauce, maybe? Mm. Wow, perfectly cooked salmon. Beautifully seared on the outside. It goes perfect with this. Some kind of sour dressing that goes with a fatty salmon. I mean, not as good as the mansion food. So I would suggest if you do in-room dining, get it from over there or maybe from a restaurant, but really good for room service food. I feel like the flavor, maybe a tad below what I had at the Venetian, or maybe I'm just a little spoiled by the in-room dining options at the Venetian, but still, this is a really good salmon and Wagyu burger. And dessert, ooh, carrot cake. One of my favorite desserts. And you really don't need to feel guilty eating this because there's carrots inside. This carrot cake is wonderful. This thing is so moist. Mmm. I love things that pair really well with tea. Oh, that's so good. I can't believe it's like 11 p.m. at night. I'm basically eating a delicious full-blown meal in my hotel room, and it looks so fancy. All right, I gotta eat up because they're actually gonna come back and, and take all this away. And tomorrow, because checkout is at 11, I asked them what the breakfast options were. The mansion is open for breakfast. We're gonna go check out what that place has for breakfast. I'm so excited for that. Yeah, I'm pretty much eating a meal and being excited for my next meal. All right, see you tomorrow. I love early mornings of Vegas where the gamblers are still asleep and only the food hunters pro sitting inside today um, because the outside table is a little crowded. So obviously just one menu this time. Healthy starter, we can ignore that. The classics, no, no. So this side is more the Western stuff. Asian breakfast, we've got kanji. Whoa, $138 kanji. Oh, but it feeds six people. That's a large kanji. Dan dan mian. Really, tom yum, spicy beef noodle soup, wonton noodle soup, or stir fried noodles. So the three sections on the Asian side is either carbs or stir fried carbs. I like it. I want to try one of these fresh bagels and uh, let's get some noodles. Oh, there's a dim sum menu. Also, I kind of made a mistake yesterday. I kept grabbing this uh, this teacup wrongly. I don't know why. I'm like. Uh, anyway, when you're grabbing this teacup, like when they put it on the saucer, don't do that because it's hot and it's uncomfortable. Grab it like this. Mm. And what they used to do was these cups would come with a lid and they would just kind of go like that a little bit to kind of get the floating tea away from the cup back when, you know, they used to be floating tea on top of the cup. So breakfast is hagao. I got some shaomai, beef brisket soup, and some black bean steamed ribs. Mmm, wow. Silky smooth. 
medium thick broth. It's really good when you can taste the collagen, like you take a bite of the noodles or take a sip of the soup and it feels like somebody just chapped your lips for you. I think the ha is okay. I really don't think it's anything that special. It tastes good. Show my, honestly, a little dry. This is really good. Yeah, that spare rib is great. Mm. The noodle flavor is really good. They definitely cooked it way too long though. It needs to be way bouncier and more al dente than that. These noodles, you can't cook it that long. And I didn't really leave it in there for that long for it to be as soggy as it does. Let's try a piece of this beef. Looks tender. Mm. 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 Beef is really good. Very tender. Flavor is incredible. The thicker pieces, tiny bit dry. But overall, pretty fantastic. But I'm definitely not getting that wow factor that I got last night at dinner. So I do feel like if you're gonna come here, come for dinner. I think the quality of food is far superior. Good spare ribs though. The second and third shrimp dumpling, I should taste it really dry. The wrapper to filling ratio is not the best. If you look at the shomai now, it's been sitting there for not that long, but look at this, kind of dry and tough looking. Actually, I take that back. I really don't want to say anything bad about this because it actually is really, really tough. The dim sum of the noodles here, I say, go to Chinatown instead. Okay, summary. Hopefully for those who are coming to Vegas and you're trying to decide between a Skyloft or the Sky Suite, hopefully this video has been helpful. It's pretty much boils down to, do you want a better view? I guess a more high techy, more modern room? Or do you want much better service, better room amenities? and better food. For me, I don't really see myself staying at the Sky Suite ever again. I mean, the people are really nice, but three hours late check-in, the crazy prices for the refreshments in the room. I never take anything from the mini bar anyway, but just, just to be in the presence of a $25 bottle of water makes me uncomfortable. Even though both places are owned by uh, uh, MGM, I, I feel like Aria should really find out the MGM Grand's beverage wholesalers are because $5 bottle of water here, same bottle goes for $16 at the Aria. $16 for a Snickers bar. Still can't get over that. Also here you get access to the mansion. Like I said, dinner, tremendous. Breakfast, I would not go there. And if you do come to the Skyloft, take my advice, take a bath. Even if you're by yourself. All right, like I said, hopefully this video has been helpful for those of you who are coming to Vegas and thinking about where to stay, especially for special occasions. I'm about to check out here and go review my next place. So I will be stuck in hotel limbo for a little bit. Luckily, I'll have mediocre dim sum in my stomach to keep me company. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.